Hello, Alex here, and we're doing a uh, quick recording here on this uh, Dell PowerEdge R17 server here that I have for sale. Uh, yeah, but either way, uh, let's just uh, have a look at it. So first things first, uh, the two drives that are included, they are 300 gigabyte SAS drives here in two and a half inch bays. Uh, yeah, here you go. There's two uh, 300 gig SAS drives there. Uh, you do have two empty uh, remaining uh, bays here that you can install either SAS or I believe SATA drives or even SSD drives. Uh, yeah, so that's a cool option. Uh, we're just going to quickly go over the back I.O. ports and then from there uh, for back I.O. I believe this is a console connection. Uh, so you do have your basic uh, VGA video. Uh, I don't know what add-in card this is. It says it's a Perk 800 add-in card so you can add uh, an extra storage array there. Uh, otherwise, four additional gigabit uh, Ethernet ports. So great for uh, virtualization as well you do have your uh, two usb 2.0 ports there or 1.0 i'm not sure and yes of course you've got dual uh hot swappable power supplies here and the uh, wattage on here is 750 watts on each power supply uh 80 plus gold down there great power supplies i'm opening up the case now i'll quickly do this i'm doing it with my hand but i figured the video might help um whoever's buying this uh, but yeah here's the inside of this dell uh, r715 so it's a dual amd opteron server here it's gonna pop the cover off here so quickly you can see underneath you've got your two heat sinks here it's a nice big copper base for each cpu uh, these are opterons and each i think opteron cpu um, has uh, they say they're 12 cores 12 threads each but in when i would load it up an operating system like windows uh, between the two cores, it recognized 12 cores and 24 threads. So um, for those of you who are kind of familiar, these are similar to uh, kind of the X58 series of CPUs. So like an X5650. Uh, so they're very, very similar. So they could be like dual X5650s, but these are Opterons. Uh, but anyways, it comes with 64 gigabytes of RAM. If you want less, uh, let me know. I can put less in there. But otherwise, you do have room to... Upgrade in the future if you ever need, but 64 gigabytes of RAM, 12 cores, 24 threads. Uh, perfect for setting up multiple VMs and uh, or whatever kind of project you have in mind for yourself. Here. As well, of course, you have these hot swappable fans here. Uh, makes it really easy to... Uh, how do you unclip these? I haven't done this in a long time, but yeah. Hot swappable. There you go. You can replace the fans super easy. Everything is really nice and clean, as you can see here. I cleaned it out really well, um, but yeah hot swappable and uh, yeah of course here's the uh, H800 uh, I believe this is the raid card I'm not too familiar but I believe it said there H800 raid card so that's a cool option there or perk 800 and and then of course you do have your uh, I'm not even sure what model that is but it is a uh, some sort of raid card might be an H700 or something like that but yeah, anyways, that's just an overview here of this uh, AMD Opteron server, the R715 as well. I uh, thought I'd show you your uh, expansion slots. You do have a full, I believe, 16x slot here. It might only be PCIe 8x uh, bandwidth, but yeah, only 8x bandwidth. But you can put a graphics card in here if you wanted to. You don't have external power, but um, yeah, always cool options there. And I thought I'd uh, show you all the details there for the server so you can make a better decision. If you guys have any questions, uh, make sure to reach out. Thanks.